After killing the biggest buck of my life in 2016 and having early season success in 2017 with an even bigger buck, I'm coming into this season with a much different perspective. It is no longer about hoping to see a deer. It's about finding a mature buck and hunting it. It's about proving to myself that I'm not just really lucky, but also good. Obsessively managing trail cameras for the entire year has led me to my target buck. I actually saw this deer for the first time after the last year's season was over. Head down with a unique wide rack trudging through the snow. I from then on referred to him as Snowplow. I had only got one other photo of him in 2017 on a deep camera plant in an area that we have deemed too thick to hunt without busting the area. Fast forward to early fall and I can hardly keep this buck and his buddy off my cameras. He is consistently all over the farm and I've been counting down the days and meticulously preparing for opening day. Well, it's September 15th, opening day of bow season. It's about 3.15 p.m. and about 90 degrees outside. We sweated our way in here and got everything set up and uh, we'll just see what happens. I'm honestly kind of hoping we don't see anything because uh, it is so hot out. It's almost unbearable. All right, we'll check back in later, hopefully with some good news. Well, it's September 21st. It's uh, my third hunt of the year, third sit of the year. And uh, we're just coming off of a full week of real low pressure and massive storms and rain. And I'm sure that's kept everything kind of hunkered down low. Um, today's the last day of the low pressure. It's pretty windy. We got about a 20 mile an hour wind coming right at us, which is the right direction at least. And it should calm down right before, uh, right before last light. So. Pressure's on the rise, and I think this weekend's gonna be really nice and should get the deer moving finally, so we'll see what happens. I'll check back in. Well, it's the evening of September 22nd. I just got all set up in my stand and I'm hoping to see something tonight here. The deer haven't been moving very much between the heat and the cold and the wind, so we'll just see what happens.
Since the opening day of bow season, it has been like a light switch was flipped and all the big bucks have gone nocturnal. I am consistently getting pictures of the buck I am after. Unfortunately, I cannot hunt at 3 a.m. I was able to get 10 hunt in in September and log over 40 hours in the tree. Not seeing any big bucks, but knowing they are in the area has kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time. I cannot wait to see what the first cold front brings me in October. I'll continue to hunt hard and hope that snowplow slips up.